Have you ever wondered about the current state of hydroelectric power in India? Well, the wheels of progress are spinning and the rush of water is powering the way forward. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of hydroelectric development in Arunachal Pradesh, a region that's becoming a beacon of India's renewable energy aspirations. Recently, two mammoth hydro projects worth 40,000 crore rupees received the green light in this northeastern state. The projects in question are the Etalin Hydroelectric Power Plant, with a massive capacity of 3,097 megawatts, and the Atunli Hydroelectric Power Plant, boasting a capacity of 680 megawatts. These projects are set to mark a strong footprint in the country's hydroelectric landscape. Now, let's shed some light on the Etalin project. It's not just any hydroelectric power plant, it's the largest hydro project currently under development in the country. But like any story worth telling, it's not without its share of controversy. Environmental concerns have been raised, stirring up a storm of debates. Despite these, the project has moved forward, pushing the boundaries of India's hydroelectric prowess. The Central Electricity Authority, under the Ministry of Power, has transferred concurrences of the projects in favor of the Sutlej Jal Vidyut Nigam Limited, a major player in the hydropower sector. This move has further solidified the company's role in shaping the future of hydroelectric power in India. The energy landscape in India is shifting, and the Etalin and Atunli Echip projects are at the forefront of this change. As we ride the waves of this energy transition, let's keep our eyes on the horizon, waiting to see what these projects will bring to the table. But what does this mean for the economy and the future of energy in India? Let's delve into the financials. The project cost for the Etalin Hydroelectric Power Project, the largest of its kind under development in India, stands at a hefty 32,813 crores. On the other hand, the Atunli Hydroelectric Power Project, although smaller, still comes with a significant price tag of 6,866 crores. These numbers are not just random figures, they represent a significant investment in the future of India's energy sector. The expected electricity output from these projects is substantial, promising a reliable source of renewable energy for the country. Now, let's talk about tariffs. Both projects have a levelized tariff of 4 rupees and 51 pays per unit. This reasonable pricing strategy ensures that the benefits of hydroelectric power can reach as many people as possible, aiding in the country's mission towards energy inclusivity. A notable development in this domain has been the transfer of concurrences from the Central Electricity Authority to the Sutlej Jal Vidyut Nigam Limited. This move signifies a shift in responsibility and trust towards this public sector hydropower company, indicating a more centralized approach to hydroelectric development in India. But what does all of this mean for the future of hydroelectric power in India? Well, these developments paint a picture of a country that is investing heavily in this renewable energy source. It suggests a future where hydroelectric power is not just an alternative, but a mainstream source of energy. These projects are not just about generating power. They are about creating a sustainable, eco-friendly future, about promoting energy security and about driving economic growth. They are about the empowerment of a nation through the use of its natural resources. With these projects, India is harnessing the power of its rivers to fuel its future. Hydroelectric power is not just a part of India's energy mix, it's a key player in its energy future.